What is going on, people? It is Saturday, December 19th, 2020, man. So much has been going on. I hope you guys had a great week. It's the weekend, man. I've had a, uh, it's been a really, it's been an emotional week. It's been a tough week. It's been a challenging week. It's been a week that I've uh, had to look inwards and uh, went through a lot of growing pains, man. I'm not going to lie. But that's it. You, uh, you learn from your experiences and you move forward. But having said that, there's still stuff that I'm, uh, I've mentioned to you guys earlier this week that I'm working on Patreon, trying to get that going. I've actually hit some uh, roadblocks, man. I've hit some roadblocks and one of the, uh, yeah, I've actually gone ahead, I've made, uploaded a bunch of images in terms of uh, how I wanted to look for now and it's a it's a work in progress right it's not gonna be perfect when I release it nothing is I'm just one man trying to do this all on my own which is cool I really love it but you know there's a tier system on patreon which you can you know work there's like one two three and people can come and join and help you support uh, help you basically by supporting your cause whatever it may be and like I said before man my journey is just uh, I'm a I'm a beginner right now. I'm a storyteller and a wannabe comic, but in terms of like levels of stages and like where I'm at, in terms of that, I'm at the very bottom, probably not even on the first step, like taking my first step. I'm at that stage right now. So these are all the things that I'm doing to help get the ball rolling. And last week, again, I mentioned that I had a uh, tiny little audition. It wasn't anything like a, uh, I don't want to go into too much detail about it what it was it was a show that I watch on YouTube I'm a huge fan of these guys and uh, yeah basically they asked for a 45 second audition I sent it in didn't hear anything back so I will just take that as a learning experience probably you know it either didn't catch their eye or maybe it did catch their eye it wasn't what they were looking for and mind you the show that I was auditioning for it is based in the US they did ask for local people I did suggest that I could if they'd like, I would definitely, on my own expense, I would uh, buy a ticket, fly down just to get a chance to be with these guys. And, you know, just uh, for me, it's it's difficult because I get it. Like as a newbie and as somebody, as an outsider who's trying to get into the game with everything being shut down, I'm just trying everything. And uh, I don't really have a clear-cut road plan or a road map and how I'm supposed to be going about that but all I know is I can just try and you know keep flipping different rocks and keep trying different things until you know uh, that's my that's my goal right now that's this is my dream for the next uh, it's taken me so long to be comfortable with just saying these things out loud but now that I am saying it and really going after it it's cool man and it's it's nice to be able to watch yourself going through these little baby steps these little struggles so it was an emotional week, man, you know, because in your head you you might get ahead of yourself or uh, have different visions and whatnot. But what you got to do is just keep on believing in the magic, man. I'm a huge believer of magic and making stuff, man, making stuff, making stuff out of nothing, creating content. That's kind of what life is all about, right? Making making stuff out of nothing sometimes our resources are limited but you know I'm not gonna sit around and just be like oh I'm situated here and we're locked down and I can't do anything no man I already got Instagram I already got YouTube I'm uh, and it's little by little man I really appreciate whoever's tuning in watching these videos I really really appreciate it it means a lot little by little we're growing like a little family man and I'm here for the long run I'm not here to make a quick buck I'm not here to do any I'm just my main concern is hopefully you know share some stories and be able to get a laugh out of you guys but it's <laughs> it's kind of silly it's hard it's hard to do that when you don't actually have people present so and everyone's situation is different right right now I'm a little bit frustrated about the way we're dealing with things in Toronto and the GTA I am mentioned this in previous videos I'm not downplaying the uh, COVID virus I'm not downplaying the impacts of all that but all these lockdowns are having serious impacts on people's livelihoods and people's mental health and you know you can't just uh, yeah I'm just one guy I don't know 
I don't know, I bet a lot of you guys feel that way too though. You know, because right now I'm considering a lot of things and to be honest, I've mentioned this before, man, I big big part of big reason why I live in this city is because I get access to the amenities or the people, but I haven't been in contact with too too many people in a long time. Eight, nine months as, you know, and you guys feel that too. And right now, I really feel like I should be moving somewhere where it's, you know, more, uh, I guess, I don't know, more oriented towards the things that I want to be doing. And if I want to be chasing comedy and going after my dreams, I really think I got to move down to the U.S. Part of that requires either going through air travel or packing my shit up, putting it all in my car. I've already kind of made that decision last year. I was kind of about to ready just to you know pack my stuff up and move down to San Diego or somewhere in the US I don't know to be honest with you right now from the vibe in the city right now like I don't see like the only thing that I'm thankful for is that I've you know gone ahead and built these little uh, videos on Instagram talking to you guys here on YouTube but I need to make some money right I can't just uh, continue doing this without a, making any money so that's why I'm working on the patreon man I really uh, hope to get that going soon but it's been I'm, I'm hitting a roadblock right now because apparently there's these uh, within the platform there are different resources that you could use to upload videos and I didn't know but they're they charge money and there's a whole different there's a whole different set of them there's like seven eight of them if I'm not mistaken I gotta go sit down and read through all of those figure out which one's more appropriate for me and excuse me move forward accordingly yeah so a lot of things man you know I thought but I've already made my introductory video for it but I didn't uh, get a chance to upload it because of the little roadblock but it's okay man I'm rolling with it I'm rolling with it I'm not stopping this doesn't mean you know I didn't get anything back from the audition I wasn't to be honest with you expecting to hear anything back one it's in the US I get that I would have definitely taken it upon myself. It would have been definitely my responsibility to get down there. But who knows? Maybe in the future we'll get a chance to work. That's the thing, man. Even though I'm doing this on my own, I'm a newbie. I have to place myself within, you know, people that I look up to or that I see people that have succeeded in different ways on the and everybody's got a different path, right? You can't just look at so and so and be like, I'm gonna do this in exactly the same way and it's gonna no man everybody goes through life everybody's got their own path but just taking everything into account I'm uh, there's something inside me there's a gut feeling inside me that tells me I should probably relocate for work down to the US maybe you know and that's the thing I can always come back to the city I can't really move right now it's kinda cold but come springtime, there's a big part of me that tells me you should just uh, pack up your stuff and move down to the U.S. and see if you can uh, make things happen. Maybe I'll take this little journey on the road and you guys will join me on the road. And, you know, and that's the thing. It's, uh, that's life, man. That's life. I don't have any positive or certain answers. None of us do. I can only, you know, tell you about what I'm going through right now and what I'm dealing with right now. And just I got to be patient. I'm like I said, I'm going through a lot of growing pains right now. Last week was really emotional. I know it, uh, it took a lot out of me, actually. It's uh, but it was a it was a growing and learning experience. Grappling with Patreon, that's been a growing experience, you know, coming on Instagram, being on putting videos out on YouTube. These are all growing experiences and it's been really cool, man. But I like to be able to actually focus it more directly on uh, the art or the craft of comedy and making stuff funny so you know enough of that you know just wanted to get my feelings out of the way it's been a it's been a weird week December is always an emotional month for me um, December 23rd was my dad's birthday so it's it's a tough month it's the holidays I'm um, yeah I'm just trying to make sense of it do my best like you guys out there and uh, yeah man it's not always easy but we all got each other that's the thing I know we are all distant we're all from 
different parts of the world, but even though we're distant and we're not, you know, physically in contact, we're going to get moving around very soon. So I'll, I, I'm hoping to see you guys, whoever's tuning in, maybe, I don't know if it's in Toronto. I don't know. Maybe we'll be seeing each other more in the coming months, years. I really want to be traveling. I'm not going to be sitting still and just, you know, enough is enough, man. Like enough, in the, like it's nine months now. What happens if this, you know, we need to be, we can't just go under lockdowns forever. What if this virus evolves and there's a new outbreak next year? You can't lock people in for two, three years and not expect heavy, heavy repercussions on the economy, on people's mental health, on people's uh, livelihoods. So many businesses are going down, man. What are you going to do? I mean, and I'm not, again, I'm not downplaying this. I'm definitely not downplaying this. But we need to, you know, we need to be positive and we need to be strong. And we need to practice a little bit more of what's been lost. This old, uh, what was that notion, dude? We all had some at one point. Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. I don't know. Common sense? Is that a thing anymore? You know, people taking... A certain level of responsibility I mean if you know you're in danger if you're in bad health if you know you're in uh, a vulnerable position take care of yourself if you know you got family members who are at risk don't put them at risk but does that mean that we got to shut everything down dude there are no restaurants there are no pubs there are no comedy clubs open there's no spaces to navigate to there's nothing to go to there's nothing much to do and I see people roaming around in the streets but it's just like everybody's like doing something but kind of nothing and I feel for people man it's uh you want to get out there and you want to be part of the you want to be part of life because that's the thing man none of us know when it's the last day you know you're cocooning yourself you're putting yourself you're wrapping yourself up in fear of maybe catching something and you're not living life and you don't know when your ticker is gonna kick dude you might just you know i hope everybody lives a long happy healthy life but that's the thing it's been nine months how long more are we all right man we'll put up with this a little bit longer let's uh get through winter let's get through winter but come spring come next year What's going to happen if we're hit with another? Like, that's the thing. We need to be a little bit more realistic. Like, enough is enough. At this point, it's just kind of like... It's become a power grab. It's become politicized. It's become way... And it was like that from the beginning. Let's not kid ourselves. But I think the majority of people are responsible and thoughtful and mindful enough to put up with the charade for a per for a certain period of time because we'd like to, you know... We like to be safe rather than be sorry, right? Nobody wanted to not go under lockdown and have millions and millions and millions of people die. But that's not the case. Have people died? Yes. Is it incredibly dangerous to catch this virus for those who are at risk? Yes. Will the majority of public survive it if they catch it from what it looks like? Yes, dude. You're not going to like, you know what I mean? And numbers and statistics, man, I've done, uh, I, I was, I'm not going to get into that. Forget about it. But all I'm saying is we need to be proactive. I think a lot of us are. We're doing the best we can with what we've got. And we need to be all patient. We need to be more patient, but we do also need a little bit of loosening of restrictions, guys. To all the politicians out there who make the rules, who don't necessarily follow it themselves, or if they happen to break the rules, the repercussions are not the same for you guys as they are for us. So, you know, when you get on your high horse and point fingers and you want to shame people for opening up their businesses you want to shame people for you know forgetting to maybe wear their mask entirely up until their nose if it slips guys like come on i don't know man i didn't want to get on here it's been a very emotional week dude it's been a very emotional week i'm sorry if it's uh just feeling a lot of energy and uh yeah I want to be going on stage, I want to be getting practice, I want to be meeting different people, I want to be putting myself out there more so than I already am, but it is what it is for the time being, but it will change, it's not going to remain this way, and hopefully we can get smarter from this, hopefully we can learn from this, and I'll just leave it at that, man, I'm working on 
Patreon, like I said, I'll have to do more research today and tomorrow. I'm hoping for things to be up and running ASAP so that I can provide more content for you guys so I can just, you know, come in and hit it and you can just tune in, we can rock and roll. But like I've mentioned previously, this has only been the third or fourth month that I'm doing this. It's, uh, it's a slow burn for me. Thank you guys for bearing with me. I love you guys. It's the holiday season. Hang in there. Stay safe. I'll talk to you all very soon. Have a blessed weekend and I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.